OK, this operation is now blown. We'll try again in a few months using different officers. Different officers is right. It's just one of those things, but at least O'Brien and this lot will be lying low for a bit. Actually, the point is to put them in prison, Howard. Don't tell me what the point is, Thomas Chesky. Whose idea was it anyway? Send it in. Mine. Listen, pal, I've done hundreds of undercover buys, OK? She was all over the guy. I thought she was going to give him a blowjob on the dance floor. They're attractive girls, Tomaszewski. See, that's the point. No, Frank, that is not the point. The point, Frank, is that she blew an expensive operation. I didn't blow it, you tosser. It wasn't Josie Rumbled, was it? Come on, Tomaszewski, the dealers know about undercover buys. Oh, thank you for the lecture, Mr Callaghan. And you are a tosser. Enough! A treat. Working with real pros. Well, a big thank you to our friends from Birkenhead for their expertise and support. What a prat. Come on, he's just pissed off. Why are you defending Thomas Chesky? I'm not defending Thomas Chesky. I'm just saying I can see his point of view. So what are you saying? That you think it's my fault as well? Did I say that? So what are you saying, Joe? Oh, grow up, Dapoli. This isn't about you. Good night. Another classic operation. I'm hoping you're going to know somewhere I can get a drink. It's three in the morning. Yeah, I know what time it is, Callahan. Yeah, it's time for a fight like it always is. Are you saying I'm aggressive or something? Oh, no, no. You ever been to mine? No. Thanks. Leave the bottle. Nice place, this. Thanks. Must have cost quite a lot. You really can't help it, can you? Just making conversation. You know, one time, years ago, I had to go in this place, near Sefton Park, by smack of this guy, and he just knows straight off I'm wrong, and I just know he knows. But there I am, sitting in this flat. Doors all bolted up, it's on the tenth floor, and I know I'm just gonna have to go through with it. And then there's this knock on the door, and all these guys turn up, and they're talking in the other room, and I'm thinking that any time now they're gonna come in and they're gonna cut me up. And I'm looking around the place, and I'm thinking this is it. This is where I'm gonna die. Here. Christ, here. What did you think about? My mum. Your mum? <laughs> anyway, guy comes back in, decides to blank me, just gets me out. A minute later, I'm standing in the street, feeling stupid, wondering what I'm going to say about this one. Can happen to anyone. Yeah. Then about an hour later, you're on the bus home. What a life. And what did we do it for? Two grand a month. <laughs> How come you got into all this anyway? Me? Kicking ass and arresting people, I suppose. I was just always fascinated by crooks. How about you? Well, I was never going to make it as a boxer or a footballer. I couldn't sing and I didn't believe in God. That's all the cool jobs. <laughs> I missed you while I was away. Did I embarrass you? No. I'm 
sorry. You look pretty tired. I can hardly move. It's pretty late. I'll call you a cab. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? What? Sorry to drag you all out of your beds on your afternoon off. But this was stuck on to Paulie's front door when she got home this morning. And it may have nothing to do with last night's operation, but it's unlikely. What worries me is the speed at which a criminal can discover an officer's home address. Obviously, we may have an internal problem there somewhere. But for now, you two adopt standard anti-surveillance procedures. Vary your route home and take precautions when you're not on duty, etc. etc. Ali, can you get that sorted, please? Um, yes, sir. At this stage, it's just intimidation. But we have to watch out for ourselves. And I don't want anyone taking the law into their own hands. Charlie. I know what you're going to say. The guy's not broken the law yet. Are we going to wait till he has? A quiet word. Don't kill him. I knew you were going to say that. And if you do, keep my name out of it. Yeah, we had the same problem a few years back at Admiral Street. The Toxteth gang started following us home and taking photos and shit, but we got bored with that for a while. Oh, they must be worn out following you around all your women. Change tyres every week, I should think. Probably couldn't afford the petrol in the end. My point is, it's not something to worry about necessarily. What did you do? Not so much we could do. Yeah, it will blow over. Easy for you to say. You okay? Sort of. Um, listen, Callie. I didn't mention this to your sister. I mean, I think she has a right to know. It's her house, obviously, but, um... On the other hand, I didn't want to worry her about nothing. What do you think? Leave it with me. Anyway, I've got stuff to do. Yeah, me too. See you later, then. I appreciate this. Oh, stay as long as you like. Your old room's all nice and filthy for you. It's going to be a couple of days at least to reckon before they get the water back on and everything. The flat's not really flooded out, is it, Mark? Huh? Look, it's none of my business, but don't you think it's a bit pathetic when you hang around here like this? What? Well, I mean, you're not 15 years of age anymore. You've got feelings for someone. There are more adult ways of expressing them. The flat's flooded, OK? You don't want to put me up. I'll go to Joey's. OK, OK. You have it your own way. It's not easy for me, you know, being stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle of what? Of you and Paulie. There is no Paulie and me. I mean, you know I love you both. But the fact is, you're totally and utterly wrong for each other. What? Well, you're completely different people. You're shy. She needs to be the centre of attention. She loves to talk. You like to listen. She likes to throw her emotions around the garden. You prefer to go off and sulk. She's intellectual, sort of, and you're more instinctive. Instinctive? And that's the good bit. Because the real danger for your relationship isn't the differences, but the similarities. 
What similarities? You're both Aries. Stubborn, single-minded and aggressive. Aggressive? Plus, you've both got this hypocritical tendency to moralise at other people and a total inability to see anybody else's point of view. Do you think that's a good recipe for long-term stability? No. And it's always the kids that suffer when something like this goes wrong. Honestly, I love both of you. But I couldn't think of a more gross mismatch if I tried. Hope you don't mind me telling you this. No, I enjoyed it. Well, you look at that. People moan on about slavery. They ought to remember what it helped to build. said you wouldn't be tanked. And you should remember, if people find out what I'm doing with you, it'll end badly, for all concerned. I know that. Yeah? And I know you can't trust all your colleagues. Not all of them. Do you know that? We take precautions. Yeah. But of course, you're talking about one operation. I'm talking about my life. Don't you ever forget that. When are you going to tell us what all this is about? <laughs> At the last possible moment. The next time we meet, they want to bring someone else along, a co-handler. <laughs> what for? It's procedure. An officer might get in trouble. Corrupted. It's just they might not allow me to do this alone. Well, that'll depend. On the one hand, how much do they want what I've got to give? How big is it? What will it do for their careers? And on the other hand, how badly do I need to do this? And why? I bet you've had a big meeting about that already, eh? You and Howard. And your bosses, didn't you? What's his motivation? What's the bastard up to? Well, what did you reckon? You do need this, don't you? Otherwise, you wouldn't take the risk. I'm not having a co-handler. That might be a problem. It's just another mouth to blab. Forget it. You come to me, you come alone. That's the deal. I'll be in touch. So what do you think? I think we should drop the whole thing. But he was going for his promotion, so that's not going to happen. Push Sullivan. What's the nature of the information? What's involved? Who's involved? If we knew that, we'd stand a chance of finding out what's really going on here. Okay. And if the bastard only wants to bed you, the sooner we find out, the better. Drug dealers, protection rackets, massage parlors, it all needs research. Take your pick. And is that our friend O'Brien? No. Uh, is Callion yet? He's out. On a little job 